Hello, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools for another edition of, well, it's not an edition of anything, it's just a video update. Uh, three things to share quickly. Uh, let's see. One is um, we have a new feature on our website called Let's Talk. You may have noticed over the last several years we like to push out surveys periodically uh, to sort of take the pulse of our school division, learn a little bit more about how people feel about certain topics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we'll probably continue, or we'll, we will continue to survey, but we are in, introducing a new feature that perhaps will allow us to survey less and uh, capture in real time um, people's opinions about various things, and also answer their questions, answer questions that are submitted um, sooner rather than later. It's called Let's Talk, and it'll be available on our website. Um, and it's an opportunity for folks to just chime in about any number of things um, or ask questions about any number of things. Good example last night was um, our math folks made a presentation about the new math uh, plan for the state of Virginia that uh, goes into effect, I guess, three years, three, uh, two school years from the coming school year, so three, three school years from now. And um, people have a lot of opinions about it, a lot of confusion about it. Frankly, the state didn't do a great job of ruling it out. Um, so, um, there were questions last night at the school board about this, that, and the other, and the, really the answers to most of the questions that have been posed thus far come from the state. So if you go submit a question and let's, let's talk, um, answers will pop up or you'll be directed to the place that will uh, provide uh, correct answers and also provide an opportunity to, to cast an opinion or share an opinion about uh, various topics that uh, pop up through the school division. Second, lots of questions about masks, 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 and um, what's the plan? What are the mitigation strategies? Uh, what are we? What should we expect in the fall? And um, it's actually pretty straightforward. The school board has has spoken, and um, their the masks re are optional. Uh, they're optional during summer school, and they will most likely be optional during fall, unless. And the the, the only asterisk there is to see what happens. Governor's uh, going to make an announcement on July 25th. Uh, I guess we'll see what he says then, but the plan right now is that masks will be optional uh, in the fall. We've got over 80% of our staff who are vaccinated now. I don't know the number for, for students. Uh, obviously, there is no vaccine for students up to age 12, but uh, the mask piece is optional. Now, as far as mitigations, I'm getting this question from folks. What are the mitigations going to be in buildings, on buses, et cetera? And again, we're going to wait until um, the governor speaks on the 25th just to make sure that, because things change so quickly, so in, in, in 24 hours, things can change completely. So we're going to wait to see what the governor says on the 25th, and that could impact the mitigations that we begin the school year with, if any. There may be no mitigations. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what the governor has to say. But as of right now, masks will be optional. They are optional in summer school, and they will be optional in the fall when school opens. Last but not least, Virtual Academy. Uh, we are enrolling students in Virtual Academy. Academy. We're not enrolling a ton of students. I think we're probably around 50 or 60 students in grades, grades K through 12 who are enrolled in Virtual Academy. Um, just a couple things quickly. One, and we're going to offer a great service. It's going to be fantastic and um, very well done, and it will be provided by our teachers, our instructors, which is key. But I want to mention and make sure that um, I'm clear, we're all clear about virtual instruction, the virtual academy is not for everyone. Virtual, the virtual instruction and virtual academy approach is really geared towards students who thrive in a virtual environment. It's not about convenience. Uh, it's about providing a service to students um, who do well, have done well, and are, are more comfortable and learn best in a virtual environment. We, every one of us learns differently. And what we found through the last 16 months or so is that some kids did very well in a virtual environment. They, they, they thrived in a virtual environment. I, I, I learned that from uh, many of my kids uh, in my, uh, uh, my superintendent's advisory group, student advisory group. So, you know, er everyone's different, but I want to make sure parents are aware that if you choose that option for, for students, make sure you've talked to your kids about 
you know, or, or you have an understanding about how they learn best, and which in, and, and in which environment do they learn best. I, I would say that the overwhelming majority of kids in the school division and around the country learn best in a face-to-face -face, uh, school environment, social environment, but some kids don't, and that makes that meant, that makes sense. Uh, that because we all learn differently, but that's an important conversation to have with your students if you're considering um, enrolling, and and you're able to enroll by just coming to our, going to our website, and uh, you can enroll there. So hope this has been helpful to you. And hope everyone has a great day.